It's new watch time. It is. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TG TV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to not only my 997 Turbo, but new watch day. This is new watch day, actually, with a bit of a difference. I've done something relatively similar before on the channel, collecting a new watch, but today I am collecting a new watch ahead of my 992 GT3 Touring, which lands in the coming days. Now the reason I say this is new watch day with a difference is because it's actually linked to that car. Some of you will already guess what kind of watch this is going to be, but none of you will know or guess what this watch actually looks like. I'm off to Centurion to collect a new piece, part of their new collection. They've released a whole new line of watches, a whole new case, a whole new strap system, and everything is completely different about this new line. And being an existing customer at Centurion, I have got first dibs on this particular model. It's going to blow your mind, this watch. So, you join me in London, I'm off to Mayfair, to Berkeley Square, to collect said watch. Some very interesting driving <laughs> going on in London today, but I wanted to get in and get this watch ahead of my collection this Friday. So what we're gonna do then, I'm gonna collect this watch today, I'm gonna film it, and then in the coming days, there's going to be a new strap for it, which I'm going to explain and show you in the video. And then you will see the watch fully functional and working in my collection video for the GT3 Touring, which will be coming on my channel probably a few days following this video. Hopefully that all makes sense, but uh, it's exciting, and I am probably the first person to document these new watches anywhere on the internet, anywhere in the world, which is a word exclusive for you all, ladies and gents. Anyway, I'm super excited. Let's get on with it. Let's park up and let's get going. So I've parked up there, always a laugh in Mayfair. I should probably do something about that rear plate because it's now not really visible, but there we go. We're gonna leave that there. and We're gonna head to Berkeley Square, which is through here. So despite the parking strife, it's actually a very scenic location, Berkeley Square. It's probably one of the best locations retail-wise there is in London. You're actually right next to Ferrari and you've got Jack Barkley Bentley there as well. It's a Jewish source just there. I'm actually gonna poke my camera in the window of Ferrari, see what we've got. So we have got 296 GTB. There is actually a car I had an offer accepted on here very, very recently and if I've got time, I'll film a video on that. It's not that car. We've got a black Purasang there as well. That absolutely slaps what you can see of it anyway. About 400 odd grand they're gonna be. I'm not sure I'm gonna go in for one, but you never know. Right, let's head down here then. Let's get a Centurion and get collecting my new watch. Hello, hello. Good to see you. How you doing? Good, Long time no see, yeah. Good man. Yeah, there well, we go. Well. Thank you very much. Hello, how's it going? Good place. It's new watch time. It is. Should we, are we sitting here or are we going through? You wanna come through here? Or are we Wonderful going stuff. Here? Thank you. So here we go then. Just waiting for my watch to be brought in. Here we go. Hello, hello. Hello. So in comes my new Centurion J2. Wow. <laughs> So then, a bit of explanation about my new Centurion J2. How Centurion do things is a little bit different to your normal watch boutique. This is actually the first one available and I only got this because I'm an existing customer. The first editions that come out of these, and there's only gonna be 10 of these, first editions that come out are actually only offered to existing customers. And the pricing structure actually follows the same as art. So the earliest pieces are actually at the lowest price point. As it gets closer to the 10th version of this, the price will incrementally go up. And if you want first dibs and an early piece, they will be reserved only for existing customers. And that's how I managed to get this. This watch isn't even really out yet. I just pestered them because I'm getting my car at the end of the week and I wanted this watch beforehand. So the dealers actually sent the key from my touring out to them already to the guys here to link up. Because you'll notice the strap 
is a standard strap. It is not like the straps before with the big red button, and that is because that strap is actually coming. It's being programmed now. So what that does mean, put this back in here briefly, what that does mean is I can wear this watch as a watch with no car key on it. And actually, I can get different straps for different cars. So not only will this watch uh, open my GT3 Touring when it arrives, uh, but actually I'll be able to get different straps and code them to a different car. So you've got one watch head and actually strap comes off. So I'll need another hand to do it. But you've got this quick release button on here, which means the straps come in and out very, very easily. So you can swap straps very, very easily indeed. So it's literally just that button there. And it's a quick release strap. I'll just take it off very quickly so you can see that. So as you can see then, strap literally pops off and then you can quick adjust and put whatever strap it is that's coded to your car on the watch immediately, meaning that you don't need to buy a different watch for every single car, which is very, very handy for someone like me. So I'll have a presentation box of straps coded to different cars and one watch, so I thought I'd go hard on the watch itself. And what a beauty this thing is. I thought I would go super aggressive on it. Rainbow is all the rage, and these are actually genuine colored sapphires. They are lab grown, so the price isn't actually crazy. We're looking at about 40K for this particular piece. And you'll actually see the whole movement is actually skeletonized the whole way through. See everything that's going on, balance wheel, whirring away there. You've obviously got the big brushed Centurion's buckle there as well. Really, really nicely done. Very, very heavy. You've got 18 karat rose gold as well. And that is a serious statement piece. So let me know what you think. I know it is very, very punchy, um, but that is, I think, the first piece that's actually been released. Very, very cool. We're gonna try it on and give you a little wrist roll, one sec. And actually, before I put it on, I actually just wanna flag this buckle here you will recognize it is very Richard Mill like the snap on it is very very satisfying so let me just put it on very hard to do this with one hand look at that already though that is chaos there we go on the wrist there you'll notice compared to the previous version that sits on the wrist very very nicely indeed the lugs are kind of a standard shape and actually the active strap with the button, which I'll show you actually, I think in my collection video for the GT3 Touring, um, with the button in it, it's actually a lot slimmer in design as well. So previous generation, this is a completely different beast. And just look at that. I mean, you're gonna be causing complete chaos with that. I'm going to need to be careful in Mayfair with this. <laughs> but look at that. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. That is mega. Worth noting as well at this point, you can get different passive straps. So that's a passive strap, there's no button, and the active strap is the one with the button, of course. You can get different colored uh, passive straps for this watch, so I can mix and match. So if I wanted to wear this on holiday without my car, I can do so, what you couldn't do with the previous generation. Really, really nice piece of design, very well thought through from Centurion, and I'm very, very happy with this. There's only 10 of these being released, and actually, by the time I put this video out, um, they are not really available. I only got the heads up on it uh, because I'm a previous customer, but if you want one, get in touch with the guys. I can't promise uh, whether they'll have any or whether you'll even get one, but do get in touch with the guys. There are other designs as well. I'll try and find one of those in a second for you, but that is absolutely insane. So this then is the G5 model. I actually really, really like this. And it was a, a toss up between the two, which I actually ended up going for. So it was a toss up between the two, which I actually ended up going for. Obviously this does not have the sapphires in the bezel, but it does have a blue skeletonized movement. That's actually really, really nice. Again, 10 of these pre-existing customers, I think the first couple at least have already gone, but if you do want one of these, uh, then come and try it on in the Centurion Boutique in Mayfair. They're a very friendly bunch here, uh, but they have very kindly got that out for me. I think that might actually be pre-sold this particular watch, so I've got to be very careful with it, but look at that, that's so nice. Very, very cool. I'm kind of almost thinking, maybe I should have gone for this. That is lovely, that blue skeleton size movement. Anyway, can't get too distracted, because we got this on. So cool having these two here. I think I'm one of the first people to actually do anything about these online anywhere. This is kind of a bit of a world exclusive here. And there are other designs as well. So this is the G5 and that is the J2. I think there's gonna be one other jeweled variant. 
I think, called the J1. It would make sense if it's called the J1. I don't know what that looks like, actually. I haven't seen that yet, and they've got that up their sleeve. There will be other variants as well in steel, some with plain dials uh, and more entry-level models as well. So um, get in touch with the guys here anyway. That then is now that. I'm leaving with my new watch, very happy. Thank you very much. See you, I will actually see you in a few days to come and collect my strap. So you haven't seen the last of me, uh, but I've got my watch. I'm heading off out into Mayfair. For now, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll leave all the details for Centurion below. And if you're passing Mayfair, Barclay Square, do pop in. See you guys.